This video is brought to you by Connected to the Land. Connected to the Land was created to bring Canadians together during a time of isolation. Connected to the Land has articles and videos on a variety of topics including gardening, recipes, DIYs, hunting, and ice fishing. Don't forget to check out Connected to the Land's podcast to hear how everyday Canadians are connecting to the land. What's up guys, welcome back to The Rugged Tyros. My name is Francis. If you're new to this channel, a Tyro is a newbie. Come with us as we explore and learn the great outdoors. On today's agenda, we're gonna be cleaning out my trailer. It's the springtime, it's the middle of April, and yeah, I've been kind of putting this off, but I see a lot of people online, they've already cleaned out their trailers, they've already dewinterized their trailers. So today for me, that's this day. So I'm basically gonna do a little bit of a walk around my trailer just to see what was up during the winter time. I was in here a few times because over the holidays it got really cold we hit like a negative 50 snap so i don't know if the liquid that i was using was rated for that or just about i did see some pink antifreeze dripping out of the lines i forgot to open my taps so i don't i know it didn't burst but i'm pretty sure the seals may have gone so i'm going to check that out today and just make sure everything is in good running order my dog Rocky has been peeing all over the tire covers, so I'm gonna be pretty sure to rinse those off before I uh, handle them. Everything back here seems to be good. I know the camera wasn't working uh, last year. Well, it wasn't working in like open spaces, so I'm gonna have to try to figure that out. Maybe get an antenna for the receiver inside the truck. Everything on this side is good. All my valves are open. I made sure that stuff wasn't like shut tight. So the outside is good, so we're good there. Nothing was tampered with or messed with. Rocky, come on. So bear with me. It's been a while since I've opened up this trailer. Oh man. So I did kind of use this as my storage for ice fishing. So all my gear's in here, so I'm gonna have to pull all that out before I can get anywhere inside. So I used the trailer as a storage unit for ice fishing because it was easy to just get in and out, pack my truck and get going on those last minute trips. did have a little bit of leaking over the winter season. Um, I actually only opened this part way through the season. I made the mistake of leaving these shut. So I'm hoping that it didn't blow anything out. Um, there wasn't any leaking here like I saw in a lot of other like videos and, and pictures I saw online. So hopefully, hopefully, hopefully uh, eh, nothing uh, burst. So in the bathroom, there's a little bit of leaking too. The toilet on All right, so everything seems to be okay. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna go ahead and uh, install the battery so that way we can make sure all the electronic components work. Today is the cleaning day. I've done this job many times, but just sometimes I forget how I hook things up. So it's a good idea to remember how you unhook your electrical wires. I had to go back to one of my old YouTube videos on how I winterized my trailer to find out how to put my wiring down. I know, I know, it's easy Francis to remember positive, negative. It's just sometimes I get a little confused. And that's why I'm a rugged Tyro. So up next, I'm gonna seal off my hot water tank by sticking this anode rod back in. I know I should be using a deep socket, but I didn't have one handy at the time. With a little help from my wife, I go ahead and cycle the water so that way it goes to the hot water tank. 
close up my fresh water valve from last season. Then I run the lines to my fresh water tank, turn on the water, and fill up my tanks. Then turn my pumps on. So this box was underneath the sink right here, in the corner over here. So I noticed that there was some pink on it after that, that big uh, negative 50 split that we had. So I just checked some of my connections and some are loose. So it's a good thing nothing broke, nothing shattered. Well, I'm just checking the plug again and just making sure it's not leaking. I did it up pretty tight, put some new Teflon tape. So what I'm making sure now is that I get all the pink out of the lines and I'm filling my gray tank up so I can dump it out. So that's it. I'm good to go for this camping season. Huh. Well that sucks. If you liked that video, go ahead and hit that like button. And if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Then that bell icon for more notifications of the Rugged Tyros only here on Tequila Creative. Thanks for watching guys.